Okay, video three in this series on the principles of programming or goal setting. And one of the amazing things about MindStore, of course, is our kind of excitement, our passion for releasing the power of our right brain. However, we're not going to somehow or other negate on the left brain. We need our left brain. The left brain is so important. So there's a left brain, if you like, logical sort of uh, explanation for how we go about programming or how we go about using our goal setting methodology for, for example, problem solving. And, and there's four very simple principle steps. And then the fifth thing happens as a result. But the first thing is this, is to actually, when you want to set a goal or you want to solve a problem, is in the alpha state, you know, in the media room or on the beach, if you're an islander, is you admit and accept your current situation. And of course, we review that on the first screen or the first ship. And the thing here is to admit and accept that actually it's yours. There may be other people involved, there may be external things happening, but the challenge exists in your life. It's where you are right now, and if things need to improve, you first of all have to admit and accept that. Now that's not easy, because most people have developed strategies to blame someone else, blame something external, but actually taking ownership and saying, I'm going to sol solve this. It's like that great Michael Jackson song, it's like, you need to change the man or the woman who's looking in the mirror, yeah? So starting point, number one, admit and accept your current situation. The second component of this is to analyse it, is to use your left brain's wonderful ability to really understand what the current situation is, the problem or the challenge or where you find yourself in relation to setting a goal. So who's involved, what's involved, what's currently happening, when, how does it happen, what's the journey towards it, and really, really understanding it. Now, of course, this, these first two, first of all, admitting, accepting, and analysing the current situation, if you think about it, are left-brained activity. It's logical in reasoning, okay? And up until this point, you're kind of facing uh, what's currently going on right this moment, but with a view to looking into the past, who's involved, what happened, what happened before, what contribution did they make, how did it come about? So in a sense, it's backward looking, which is interesting. Now remember away at the beginning, we're interested in being futurists. So stage three in our process is having, first of all, admitting and accepting things need to change and accepting where we are, and then doing the analysis. In stage three, we actually turn, if you like, round from the past and the present, and we let that go. So we're no longer interested in it because we're futurists. Fundamentally, we're about desiring passionately our futures, living in the now, of course, you turn around and you look to the future and stage three is you look for alternatives to your present situation or whatever the problem is or whatever the challenge is or where you are in relation to setting this goal. And if you look at the alternatives to what you've currently got and you allow yourself, remember we're doing this deep in alpha so your imagination's available, your intuition's available, your creativity's available. And so if you then choose to explore running ship threes or running screen threes and seeing different alternatives, what will inevitably happen is one of them will feel right. One of them will feel like that's the way I have to go. That's the solution for me. That's the goal I really, really want. And so stage three, once you've looked for alternatives, you can then move to stage four. Now remember, stage three, you've left the past behind and you're now looking for alternatives. You're now a futurist. You're looking into the future. So the fourth element of this is having looked in the future, one of them standing out, the thing you would really want to have, the solution that comes to mind in terms of alternatives to a problem, if you were problem solving, comes into your consciousness and that's what you program on screen three. That's what you program with the ship three if you're an islander. You're looking for then that goal, that solution manifesting so you would check out if I was there right now and this had manifested and I had achieved this, what would it look like, what would it feel like, what would it, what would it be going on, uh, what would I be seeing, etc. what would I be feeling, what would I be hearing. You can gauge all those senses. You run the future history, then you freeze frame it, as you know, to create that goal, that, that program that you're now going to run in your mind. And so there, there's the four steps. You first of all admit and accept, which if you like, if you think is, your, is the present situation. 
you then analyze it looking to the past and the journey towards where you are now. You surrender them, you let them go, you move into the future to look for alternatives. Stage three, then finally stage four, you find your future history and you constantly go back and back and back to that in your programming. That is the principles of programming from a left brain point of view. However, the fifth thing happens automatically if you've gone through this process and in that future history, that solution that so inspires you that you're programmed on your third screen, then what's going to happen is you're going to constantly go back to review it and ultimately because you're doing that, you'll ultimately achieve the goal. Now MindStore works, our techniques work, this process works and the, inevitably the process involves you become a committed futurist. Another video on its way. Thanks for watching. Bye now.